How's it going everybody? Jared back once again. So another exciting day at CES 2013 comes to an end. Today we're talking about day three. So what happened today? Well, Samsung more specifically made a pretty big splash by officially announcing their Exynos 5 Octachip, which is actually an eight core mobile processor. This actually consists of uh, four Cortex A15 processors for handling, you know, the heavier loads like gaming and so on and four Cortex A7 processors for handling the lighter load type tasks. Now what's really interesting is that they're claiming that this will give you a 70% boost in energy efficiency. 70%! That's huge, huge, huge numbers. We can see batteries, uh, 2100 milliamp batteries lasting days. Uh, I mean, again, that's speculation, but if you think about it, we've all been wondering and pushing the manufacturers to put out larger battery sizes when maybe all they needed to do was just to beef up the energy efficiency of the internal components. So that's something to think about. Uh, what else is kind of neat is that um, they're actually touting that this will come with 3D support. So who knows what that will mean for the future of mobile gaming. Pretty exciting stuff here. Now, while we're still on the topic of Samsung, they also showed off their flexible OLED displays. Absolutely amazing. Um, actually, in uh, uh, one of the videos or a couple of the videos floating around YouTube, they actually showed a concept phone, um, and it's purely concept, it will never see the light of day, um, that actually had a wraparound display. And this display actually wrapped around the edges all the way to the bottom. So let's say, for instance, you had one of those Samsung flip cases on, and it was covering the screen, you had it on a table, you received a text message, an email, and so on. It would actually, if you wanted to, show you a little icon, kind of letting you know, like a notification light, if you will. You go ahead and tap on it while it's still closed, and it'll actually read some of that text out along the edge of the um, well display or phone, um, which I thought was really really neat. And the neatest part was when the president of their display, I guess department, you could call it division, um, brought out the flexible OLED display and actually just started bending it in half, which was like the crowd went wild. It was like a rock show. It was pretty awesome. Um, I was quite impressed. It was a 720p HD display that he was bending in half. Um, now, one thing that I actually never thought about, and I can't even believe I never thought of this, the cool, one of the main, main cool benefits about a flexible display is the fact that if you drop it, you're not shattering that screen or display. Um, because it's flexible and not rigid like Gorilla Glass or just any type of glass or hard plastics, um, it's not going to shatter or break or anything like that because it just, it, it's using a plastic material instead of um, a rigid glass or a rigid type plastic. Anyways, that was really exciting to see. I definitely recommend you guys go on YouTube or Google and search for uh, Samsung's keynotes because it was mind blowing to see that. Uh, it's like the future technology was shown today and we can't expect to see this technology coming out within the next year to two years. So that's like whew, mind blowing. Furthermore, Panasonic, a company that I haven't actually seen any real innovation out of for quite some time, actually brought out a concept tablet. It was a 20-inch tablet, and the whole point of it was to show, and it was running Windows 8, by the way, if anybody cares, I don't. Um, but the whole point of it was actually to show a 4K Ultra HD display running on a tablet. Mind you, it was a 20-inch tablet, so who knows if they were, uh, if they had to create a 20-inch tablet to be able to fit that type of technology in there. I don't really know. I'm not the genius behind this stuff. But it was interesting because actually the resolution, if I can read it off for you, was uh, 3840 by 2160 with a guess, and again, again, these are like purely speculative numbers, um, a DPI of 220. So it actually makes me question, should they have continued calling this a 4K Ultra HD display, or should they have maybe just said, hey, check out our 20 inch um, Panasonic tablet with a 1080p plus display? I don't know, let me know what you guys think about that one in the comments below. And last but certainly not least, you know, there's been a lot of rumors swirling around the interwebs about um, Steam and Valve's new Steam box. Um, it's supposed to be a cool little console that's able to run Steam games and stream them and all kinds of great stuff. That's all exciting until we actually start seeing some real hardware. Now, um, Steam and a company by the name of XI3 or Xi3, however you want to pronounce it, there's a couple of different ways, um, actually has been in the mix a little bit lately considering Steam recently gave them a massive investment. I'm not really sure how much of an investment it was, but uh, XI3 wanted to create a, um, uh, a small PC modular gaming type console and they went on Kickstarter and they needed a, I think it was either a half or a quarter million startup 
uh, goal and they only reached about 90,000 before um, they weren't back and then Steam kind of got wind of that and said hey how about we give you millions of dollars to work for us. So they're sort of in a partnership but sort of not. Um, the rep over at XI3 has been extremely tight-lipped however they do have an actual product for everybody to look at and although it's not in its finished state it is still in a completely developmental product at this uh, point in time however they did decide to give us some specs and aside from the back with all the different ports, I can't remember and I haven't been able to find out any specific information on the ports in the back. Maybe you guys can look. It's got an insane amount of HDMI out ports, an insane amount of USB 3.0 ports, and a bunch of other really, really cool stuff that we will find extremely handy in um, party uh, ga gaming parties and things like that. But anyways, um, the some of the specs are a quad-core 64-bit uh, x86-based processor up, up to, and this is where I'm getting a little bit sad and I'm uh, questioning whether this might actually be a finished or even a concept Steam, uh, Steam box, if you will, and 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM. 8 gigs is a little bit small. That's kind of what I'm running in my laptop right now. And, um, you know, although it's capable of running a lot of computer games, it's not going to be able to run some of the bigger games out there. Uh, 8 gigs of RAM and SSD... Um, up to a terabyte in size, which is huge. So you got a terabyte hard drive in this console. You know how much you'd have to pay an Xbox, uh, a Microsoft to buy a, mind you, they don't even make terabyte hard drives, but I mean, it would be like $400. Anyways, um, moving on from there. Uh, so it's got the terabyte hard drive and it supports up to three displays and resolutions um, capable of putting out 4K Ultra HD video. I mean, that's just phenomenal. So uh, in my opinion, it's a really, really great start. I honestly, truly do not believe this will be anything like the finished product. Um, but what was really cool, and this is kind of what really, really got to me and what actually the reason why I got away from computer gaming, got more into console gaming is that because this is a modular based design, you're actually capable of swapping out some of the parts down the road as new hardware becomes available, like video cards, more RAM, a better hard drive and so on and so forth. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Those are my hand picks of CES day three for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you really appreciated this video, shoot me some love by tickling that likes button down below. That was a joke for my buddy Sam J. Pull in if he's watching. Um, and also maybe subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this one in the future. We do or try to put out videos five days a week. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.